No other form of expression embodies the complexity and diversity that help define America greater than jazz. It is the mission of the gift of jazz to support the past, present, and future of this great art form in the Rocky Mountain region. While the humble beginnings of jazz can be traced to the melting pot of early 20th century New Orleans, as the country grew and developed and cities rose up, jazz continued to mature and progress into an ever-expanding music whose diversity of styles and genres closely mirrored the diversity of the nation. Finding a home in the metropolises of New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago, jazz established itself as the popular music of the nation. As the largest city between Chicago and Los Angeles, Denver became a stopping point for many of the most popular bands in early jazz, as they made their way from New York to the West Coast, playing host to jazz luminaries, Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Dizzy Gillespie, and countless others. While serving as an attractive performance locale for national jazz stars, Denver was also home to its own thriving jazz scene. Neighborhoods were filled with the sounds of jazz, while businesses flourished and people worked to enhance and strengthen the unique culture of Denver. Local stars such as George Morrison, Paul Whiteman, Jimmy Lunsford, and Glenn Miller attracted national attention, which led Denver's rise to prominence as a jazz mecca of the West. Today, while the greater Denver metropolitan area is counted as only the 21st largest in the U.S., its jazz scene is one of the most active. Touting one of the rare full-time jazz radio stations, countless jazz festivals, and numerous jazz venues. With a commitment to fostering a strong arts community, excellent jazz education programs in its universities, plus a well-deserved reputation of being one of the nation's top cities in which to live, Denver has become an increasingly attractive area for musicians to call home. Oh, well, I think that's really it. I mean, it's a yeah. great place to live. I mean, I grew up here, so I, I feel real comfortable raising a family here. I feel there are the Denver Public Schools. There's some very, very good schools. There's great museums. There's, there's um, like a very, very nurturing community. Um, so uh, to me, this is the, one of the, this is the place I, I would choose to live above all others. It's the place I choose to play above, above, above all others. I, I just love Denver. Currently, Denver is proud to be the hometown of some of the biggest names in the jazz world. Diane Reeves, Ron Miles, Gerald Albright, Rob Mullins, Renee Marie, Javon Jackson, Art Landy, Eric Gunnison, Phil Urso, Charlie Burrell. The list goes on and on. The region's ability to attract this rich abundance of talented musicians has helped create a thriving local jazz community, presenting Latin jazz to blues and everything in between. This growing jazz scene presents not only great entertainment, but also great challenges and opportunities. The Gift of Jazz, a Colorado 501c3 nonprofit organization, was founded in 1985 in response to these challenges. A volunteer-based organization, our mission is to support the past, present, and future of jazz in the Rocky Mountain region. It is our belief that in order to secure the future of this music, we must ensure the preservation of its rich past through current opportunities and education. Our community of highly skilled jazz musicians has now outgrown the current landscape of employment opportunities available to them. We have uh, some wonderful jazz clubs. Like I say, we have a lot, a lot of programs and we have many musicians, many, many musicians. We could use more venues. The Gift of Jazz endeavors to find and create performance opportunities for local musicians. We produce jazz events employing local talent, like our Blind Tiger House Party Series and Buddy Rich Tribute Concert. Oh. 
Future plans call for establishing a network of neighborhood jazz venues, reaching out to the greater Denver area community while providing jobs for local musicians. Education for all generations is a primary focus of the gift of jazz. Under the strain of today's ever-shrinking budgets, music education is often easily dismissed, limiting young students' exposure to this important art form. One of the things that I guess troubles me a little bit lately, not in just in Denver, but just overall, is the, the, the lack of emphasis on the arts in the schools. And, and because I think that, that students, young people, need a way to express themselves in a kind of healthy and creative way. And sometimes if they don't have that, they act out in some other way. <laughs> and so uh, I, I'm part of a big push, and I know a lot of us are, to make sure that the arts is an integral part of the schools. And I think that that it only enhances, again, not just the art subjects, but math, history, English, all that could be enhanced by, by, by a study of the arts and having that as part of the curriculum. Our educational initiatives utilize the local jazz community to provide low-cost private instrumental jazz instruction, adult composition and arranging courses, and instruction for our young composers of Denver School of the Arts program. Future courses under consideration include jazz history, photography, and literature. Our musical instrument collection and donation program provides opportunities to kids who could not otherwise experience the joy of playing this great music. The Gift of Jazz also supports existing Denver area jazz musicians and programs through our volunteer efforts and contributions. Our partners include Dazzle Jazz, KUVO Radio, Colorado Conservatory for the Jazz Arts, the Five Points Jazz Festival, Vail Jazz Festival, Jazz Fest Denver, the Longmont Jazz Festival, and Denver Public Schools Arts and Education Programs. With our commitment to support and grow the jazz community in the greater Denver area, the gift of jazz is not only working to better the lives of musicians and music educators, but also to better the overall quality of life in Denver. Jazz contributes significantly to Denver's rich cultural environment, an important factor in meeting the needs of an educated, diverse populace. A flourishing cultural environment is an advantage for urban centers competing globally. Lifestyle enhancements are a key way to attract and retain skilled people essential to the workforce and tax base. Jazz. It's not just good music, it's good for the people and businesses of Denver. Thank you.